Potato Chips. This is song number nine from the second book of Strings Fun and Easy. So this is a very, very fun song to learn. I'm going to first play it and then we'll discuss the details after. Okay, so this song is very, very energetic and it keeps on um, moving without a break. So, but it has a couple of um, spots that it's challenging our brain to see if we remember that we don't have any sharps. So it's very common for, for us, for beginner students to always use a high finger and a high second finger, high first finger. In this song, we are being challenged to use our fingers low. Okay, uh, not all of them, of course, some of them. Our first two notes is E and F. E is the first, first finger on D string here. The next note is an F natural. So make sure you don't put your finger here. This is very dangerous because you're going to make an F sharp sound. Okay, so right after you play your E, put your second finger together and play F natural. And then it goes on E string. And then it goes to F. Be careful, don't play your F sharp. Pull your finger back and play F natural. Okay, so we have a low E, low F, high E, high F, like that. Okay. And then we do this a couple of times like that on the first line we keep on doing this pattern two times like low e up e low f high e high f one more time low e low f high e high f okay that's in terms of octaves okay and then on the second line we do this a little faster as quarter notes we go e And then we go E, F, E, F. This time it's like eighth notes. It gets so much faster. E, F, 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 E, you start on an up bow, so make sure it goes up, down, up, down, this way. Okay, so you go E, up bow, 
F natural down bow, and then E again, and then A. And then you go up again, E, F, E, A. Okay? And then it goes to E, F, E, A, E, F, E, A, E, F, E, B. Okay, this is, this is where um, the challenge comes in because the composer makes you do a low F, but then suddenly wants you to jump higher up and play a natural B on A string. So he, this is how it goes. Jump up. Okay, and then you go up again. Up, down, up, down. That's a B. So it makes you go from low finger to high finger on E string and A string. Okay, and then it goes. A okay, and every time when we have a rest, we want to make sure the bow is crossed to E string before we play E string. So it goes up, down, up, down. Cross, 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 okay, and then at the end, it's, it's very, very easy, A, 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 B, 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 and then you have a C natural, a low C, D is away, E, low F, E, the last line, oh, there is an F sharp, this is the only time in the music we are doing the F sharp, we play it four times, F, 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 E, and then we go back to low, we go E, all right, so there are a couple of things about uh, this song. First of all, <clears throat> use low F. Second finger is low on D string. First finger is low on E string. And then uh, the other very important thing is that every time when you go da 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 da, your first note always starts on an up bow. Okay, because that is like a pickup basically. And it's the off beat. Okay, so this should not be very difficult if you actually remember that your Fs are not uh, high and they're natural. I guess the rest of the song is quite catchy and you will remember very easily.